All right, guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna look at the big haul from the Big Wheel Horse Show. I bought a lot of stuff and actually it's not all out here. At the end of this video, you're gonna see all of the memorabilia that I purchased. But let's start over here. This will be quick. This area is gonna be quick over here. Got a mid-mount grader blade, two rebuilt uh, K181 carbs, steering wheel for one of the tractors I'll show you in a minute, 701 repop dash, three side covers, two K161s, two sets of uh, round fenders, and an original seat back uh, actually for one of the tractors that I picked up. Let's get right into the tractors here. We got this 1957 RJ35. This was a complete impulse buy. I spent a lot of money on this. I shouldn't have, but it runs and drives and it's actually a pretty cool little tractor. I'm not a huge RJ guy, but if I had to keep one, it would definitely be this one just because of how weird and unique it is. You guys are gonna get to see a whole video on that at a later date once I clean it up, put the decals on, and yeah, pretty much just clean it up, make it look better. Right next to it is my favorite purchase from the show. This is a 1962, 1963 Lawn Ranger. Uh, the reason I don't know the exact year is um, it's kind of a hodgepodge of parts. But again, that's going to get its own separate video completely going through it. So if you guys are interested in it, it's got a couple of really cool surprises. And I don't think you guys are going to want to miss that video. Uh, but all I'll say is it's, uh, it's not a stock Lawn Ranger. Next to it, we got a 1964 Lawn Ranger. And funny story is... This was the first thing I purchased. I paid 150 bucks for this tractor because I've always wanted a round fender lawn ranger. I hadn't even made one full lap around the property and I had already bought this. I pulled it back to where we were set up and I realized it's a slant dash. The one that I really wanted was the older style one, the 62, 63 style one. So I went on a little scavenger hunt and I found this and I, Paid, I actually got that for a really good deal. It's got a K161 in it with a Magnum 8 recoil on it. I got to pull that all apart, but that's enough of that. 701. I do have the side cover for this. It's actually the black side cover over there. 701. Uh, it's hard for me to pass up a good deal on a 701, though I did pass one up for 50 bucks at the show, but it was just so rough. Didn't have an engine. The hood was all rotted. Everything was rotten on it, so I passed on that one. But A decent 701 I don't usually pass on. This thing is complete. Like I said, I do have that side cover. It's got the proper footboards. Sorry about the shadow there. It's got a brand new seat, brand new front tires. It's actually a pretty decent little tractor. I'm gonna get this thing running again. It did run and drive. A bunch of crap got jostled around the carburetor and now it needs a clean. This is probably already sold, but we shall see. And then we got these two, the twins, I guess. A 604 and a 654. I bought that 654 because I think the 654s are cool. I mean, I just think the number's cool, I guess. And it had the ag tires on it, so I bought that one first. Uh, I bought that alongside that one. And then I ended up going back and picking up the 604. I almost got a 653, but I just didn't have enough room in the trailer, so I figured I'd just stick with what I had. So this 604 runs and drives. It actually drove onto my trailer. Unfortunately, it's not the right engine. As you can see, it's got that other shaft sticking out the side with the pulley, uh, but it does run and drive. So I likely am going to keep that motor in there and just stick a Kohler carb on it because it's a to come suck. As you can see, it does have electric start, which it's not supposed to have. So I'm gonna take the electric start off of it. And uh, yeah, and now you might know where that steering wheel is gonna go because it has this lovely plastic one on here. Hard to, hard to beat that. But uh, I know that one I bought, it's not the right steering wheel for these, but I couldn't find the right steering wheel. So we're gonna use what we got and call it a day, I guess. And then we got the 654, which is, as you guys can see, it's, it's rougher. But I know there's a nice patina hiding underneath all this rust. And like I said, with the ag tires on it and being complete, I thought it was a decent deal. So I grabbed it. Unfortunately, I don't think this motor is going to stay in here. If you could see, no compression at all. So I think the plan with this one is to swap a little diesel into it. I was originally thinking one of the K161s, uh, but a 704 is essentially a 654 with a K161 in it. So I don't really want to do that because I'm still looking for a 704. But yeah, so that's pretty much the haul. I think the, that one's going to run too. I think the little long range is going to run with a Kohler carb on it, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much the haul. Um, Paid a lot of money, but I got a lot of good stuff, I think. And I'm uh, extremely happy about a lot of it. So, 
yeah there you guys go that's pretty much everything okay, so here's some of the memorabilia that i picked up obviously this is only one piece i have a whole pile of it next to me thought this 520 poster was really cool and it was the right price i grabbed it that's gonna get framed and uh probably put up in my room a couple more of these would be hanging on the ceiling of a dealership and it's weird i've seen the pictures of how they're set up because this is one side and this is the other side so it'd be hanging almost like in a cross i guess so those two are going to get framed i'm just going to frame this side uh, as cool as this is i think having these two together is the coolest to be honest and here are some brochures for first off the rj35 stickers for my rj35 that i picked up i don't know what year this um brochure is from but i already have one of these this one's just in a little bit nicer shape than the one i have so i picked this up this is a 1990 you know pretty cool just shows you all the different attachments and all the different stuff it's really cool i love these old brochures 91 again same idea this one's got a nice dirty 520 in it but i don't know what year this one is either if you guys know let me know oh 93 this is a 1993 Again, just 500 series. And there's that picture from the uh, poster. And then these two, both 63 manuals, the 603, which I ditched. I just picked up a 603. Uh, pretty cool just to have. I, I, I like, I want to have one manual for every tractor that I buy. And then as you can see, the 63 Long Ranger, which if you look real close in here, you'll see that this does not have a footboard. I had someone arguing with me about that in the comments of another video um, that these were supposed to have footboard. The 63 said footboards and 62s didn't. They don't. 63s don't either. But yeah, so there you go. Um, pretty good haul, I'd say, overall. I'm definitely happy with everything I bought and uh, very happy with the trip. So thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one.